Hello and welcome back to the Private Property Home Shopper Show, a show where we showcase some of the most prestigious homes across South Africa. Today, we are once again in the glamorous Mayersdal Eco Estate, touring a perfect family mansion. This home is the epitome of home is where the heart is with a balanced mix of comfort as well as sophistication and elegance. Across its 900 meters squared, you have four bedrooms, three bathrooms, a three car garage, incredible entertainment spaces, and so much more, all for 11,990,000 Rand. But before we tour the home behind me, let me let you know that you can find your new home on privateproperty.co.za. Now, from myself, Chad Riveras, it's time to take you through this incredible home. And here we are walking inside this incredible home and the first thing that really captivates you is as soon as you open these doors, you're greeted with so much space, a super, super tall ceiling. It almost feels like you're stepping inside a country castle, but with more of a timeless design style. There's so much to talk about here. What I think the best route is, is let's walk to the left and bring it all the way back before we come around to the stairs, which is directly on my right and we'll head up to the bedroom areas. So let's go. Now, walking immediately to your left, you find yourself right here, which is a beautiful, what I would call formal living room area. But this room here really is the place to talk about. We've got two walls that have got sliding glass doors that open up outwards onto your boma area, as well as that incredible pool area. But just above those glass doors, there's inlays of glass. And now what those inlays of glass do is if you look up, you see the tops of all the trees and it really does bring all that greenery inside feels like the trees are surrounding you. It really does take you out of the city and place you in nature and bring that comfort, that warmth and that serenity that comes with nature. The room is so well equipped, plenty of space, beautiful carpeting, wall space for anything you might need in terms of entertainment. But for me, the killer feature has to be this right here. You've got a dual sided wrought iron fireplace inlaid into all of this raw stone. The stone's been varnished, so you're never gonna have any of those dust issues but it really is such an eye-catching piece and I absolutely love it. But the killer feature of that fireplace is that it's dual-sided, so it continues here and you really see how it pulls the eye all the way up to these massively high ceilings. Then we've got the chandelier here, beautiful chandelier draping all the way down just above this dining room table and we've seen a lot of dining room tables in our time and this one has to be described as a grand dining room table. I love how it's laid off exclusively on some wood flooring surrounded by tiles. It makes it feel special. And now I think as a viewer, you might start seeing where I'm saying it feels like a kind of modern take or timeless take on a castle out in the countryside. It is beautiful for a family, warm, airy, and so spacious, which I think is exactly what's required when it comes to having a big family home. And nothing shows space or at least the need for it in a family home like this kitchen right over here. It is absolutely massive. Take a look at the center island, Caesar stone countertop just below it. We've got some dark cladding on all of your cupboard space, inbuilt oven as well as stovetop, both of them being Siemens. Your prep sink here, but it is amazingly big. So if you're into entertaining for a lot of people, if your family's got a lot of people coming over, this kitchen 100% will suit you. You've got two other built-in appliances here, a microwave and a second oven, and then plenty of cupboard space behind me and even space for a double fridge. I know how difficult it is to find. Off to my left, there's a door. That door leads into a scullery as well as a separate pantry, and that scullery and pantry has all of the trappings that you'd want. You've got your double sink, space for all of your appliances, under counter, as well as access to the backside, so to your garden side. But within the kitchen itself, well, you happen to have this door right here, slideable glass door that locks super easy and stacks up next to itself or into itself. So if you're whipping up a storm, cooking a meal for however many guests you might be entertaining, you know that you're at least gonna be able to get a breeze and you're always going to be enjoying nature. There's a beautiful fountain out here, there's some really nice views and that's the key to living in Mayersdal Eco Estate is feeling one with nature. But we haven't shown half of this house yet because there's so much more and I want you to come with me because right in front of you, kitchen behind you, you've got a dedicated coffee spot. And as a fan of the coffee myself, I have to admit the spot for a nice cup of Arabica really does seal the deal on any perspective house I might want. 
And if that doesn't, take a look at this. This is this home's entertainment area. Not only space enough for a pool table and another set of couches, so this could be your entertainment suite, but a TV, two windows looking out onto your back garden. And the killer feature here isn't just the space or maybe the touches with nature. It has to be this right here, beautiful wrought iron fireplace tucked away in the corner, smokeless chimney leading outwards right next to this fully glass enclosed and probably temperature controlled wine cellar. Two glass doors open outwards, allowing you to pick your favorite Shiraz or maybe Merlot. But where will I enjoy this? I hear you ask. Well, that would have to be right over here. You've got a beautiful built-in bar area. Caesar stone and wood dominate your countertops. You've got glass, drop lighting, and then behind you, you're shelving to stack your favorite drinks. Space for not only appliances underneath here and behind me with plug points, but also bar chairs behind and in front of this bar area. On my right hand side, another set of sliding and stackable glass doors that open outwards onto your fully sealed off patio area. But there's also one last thing we're gonna talk about here before I move off, and that is your first bedroom is located downstairs. It is just behind the bar, a perfect guest wing of the home. Let's take a look at this room. Then we're gonna head off to the patio area, and then it's upstairs to take a look at the bedroom wing of the home. This bedroom is truly perfect for your guests. It has a cozy plush carpet, plenty of space for a large bed and a full ensuite bathroom. But the best part of this room has to be the huge windows and easy access to the stunning garden. And now having wrapped up the whole downstairs area, we find ourselves right here in the patio and this patio is to die for. On my right hand side, you have a sealed away Jetmaster gas bry for whenever you want to while away a Saturday or Sunday afternoon on the grill and in the pool. You've got this spacious and it really is massively spacious lounge suite area if you sit down, read a book, enjoy the sunlight or you can even drop the weather shutters. So there are a whole bunch of wood weather shutters sealing off this area if it's raining and just sit out and enjoy the extra space specifically when you've got guests and if you have guests that want to dine outside well here you are covered with a 10 seater dining room table with so much space all around it and you also get to take a look at these sliding stackable doors that are built in everywhere making this home specifically if you drop those weather shutters really indoor outdoor but there's so much more yet to talk about you've got a beautiful wood deck with a built-in jacuzzi a sparkling blue pool so much greenery for you to walk around and play in as well as just behind some wood privacy shielding a beautiful boma you can sit down light a bonfire roast some marshmallows and enjoy that you are living in one of the best eco states here in johannesburg but we have now wrapped up this incredible pool area and it's time to head up those stairs to the bedroom section of the home so come with me and let's see what sleeping in a home like this must feel like And here I am finally up the stairs, yeah, by the bedroom area or the bedroom wings of the house. Now, these stairs, beautifully carpeted, very plush, and there also has, well, there also is lighting all the way up, so making this journey at night, you don't need to worry about it, especially if your family's here. Now, what I'd like to say is there are some incredible views from this area of the home. One, you're quite high up, you've got stunning windows placed all over, so you really do feel like you're in touch with nature, and I'm sure at night, the views must be spectacular. But there's no way to find out about this unless you come join me up here and let's start talking about the pajama area. And here it is, your upstairs pajama lounge. It is the first room you come to before you get to the hallway that has all the bedrooms. You've got an unobstructed view of that grand dining area and that incredible piece of masonry that encompasses your fireplace, love it. Lots of space here, built in bookshelf, you've got speaker or at least speaker routing and inbuilt speakers on the ceiling. So if you're enjoying a movie here, trust me, it's gonna feel like one of the best movies you've ever watched. Another really cool feature, you've got some inbuilt storage, but this over here has to be the cherry on top for this upstairs section. 
to your very own private balcony overlooking the Maisel Greenbelt. You can sit here with a pair of binoculars, relax, enjoy the sights and sounds of nature. I think it's such a cool addition. This doesn't just have to be used as a sitting room or as a TV room. But right now, it's time to go explore those bedrooms. Just like the guest bedrooms downstairs, these rooms are beautifully light and airy, thanks to the many windows and large sliding doors that lead onto pretty private balconies. The plush carpets warm up the space though, leaving you feeling at home and cozy. Both rooms share a wonderfully full bathroom with a large shower, a stunning built-in bathtub and a double vanity. And here we are finally in the master suite of this incredible 11,990,000 rent home. So we presented with three different choices. Right in front of me is your master bedroom. Just off to my left-hand side, you have your walk-in closet. This time made a little bit more private with the use of this door. You've got real wood cupboards all the way around, as well as inbuilt drawers, which is also quite a nice, thoughtful feature. Just above those drawers, you've got a slit window that opens up, letting in a little bit of air, but also letting in a lot of light, which I believe is very, very important for walk-in closets, specifically if you're gonna be getting ready in them. Right next to that, though, is your very own fireplace. Absolutely love, again, how it's been built into this feature brick wall. And once again, those bricks are varnished, so you can have none of the issues with any dust accumulating over there. And then when we talk flooring, we've got plush carpets throughout the main bedroom as well as the walk-in closet. But we now definitely need to talk about the master ensuite bathroom, and we're headed there next. And here it is, your master bathroom that has all the trappings you'd ever expect. We've got double vanities, beautiful mirror just above, and stunning down lighting. But we've traded the doors that open outwards when it comes to undercounter storage for drawers and very deep ones at that all real wood. Love the finishes here, it shows some thought in terms of how they kitted out this house. On my right hand side, a massive shower, all encased in glass. Then you have a corner jacuzzi bathtub surrounded by windows and plenty of trees that lean in over you. It feels like you're almost taking a bath in nature. All of the views from this window overlook that green belt. So you are gonna be very, very private when it comes to it. But if you wanna wash up while feeling one with nature, out of these two glass doors is an outdoor shower that really brings that experience and makes it probably the epitome of doing so. It's a beautiful view from that shower and it is still incredibly private because you've got quite a high wall right next to you. And then right over here behind a door for privacy is your toilet tucked away in the corner with this very own window as well. And that sums up this master ensuite bathroom. Let's take a look at the rest of the master suite. So as we've seen, there are some really amazing features and trappings when it comes to this home. It really does feel like you're living in the lap of luxury and comfort and the rest of the master suite brings that home. You've got plenty of space, it feels open and it feels airy. It has its very own dressing counter built in with down lighting just above you and then a wall of windows that open up and let in that breeze and really drives that feeling home that you are here in a house that has been made to feel like you're living in nature. And none of that is as apparent as when you really start opening these windows up and enjoying them. And then if the styling and features of the bedroom isn't enough, you've got this stunning window. But who needs a window regardless of how fantastic it might be when you have your very own private balcony access overlooking this incredible luscious green garden and sparkling blue pool. All to yourself, uninterrupted in the Maisel Eco State. I can't imagine a better place to sit back, relax and take in the sights and sounds of nature that you can only get right here. And that unfortunately brings us to the end of this episode. So follow me downstairs and we can talk about how you can become the next owner of this incredible home. And unfortunately, we have come to the end of this incredible episode. And now we talk about how you can make this incredible home yours. But before we do that, let's recap what we've seen so far. This home boasts four bedrooms, three bathrooms, a three-car garage, and incredible features, both within the home when we talk entertainment and living spaces, 
and within Mayersdal Eco Estate itself. Living in the Mayersdal Eco Estate gives you access to 35 kilometers of world-class mountain bike trails. It gives you access to not only a restaurant, but a clubhouse with facilities such as soccer, tennis, and squash. You have a park right next door to your house if these amazing grounds that are part of your home itself don't suit your fancy and you can walk up not only see animals but interact in terms of photography it is definitely a place to be and all for 11 million nine hundred and ninety thousand rand but let's talk about how you can purchase this home what i'd like you to do is contact ryan and warwick from law real estate and a huge shout out goes out to both ryan and warwick for allowing us to tour this home and show it to all of you if you'd like to purchase it, contact them. Their details are on screen right now. And then when it comes to the Pride Property Home Shopper Show, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a single episode. Or more importantly, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single episode of the Private Property Podcast or the Private Property Home Shopper Show. But from myself, Chad Riveros, the team at the Private Property Home Shopper Show, thank you so much. And we'll see you next time right here touring the most glamorous homes in South Africa.